do some top secret lady data. Yes. From the vault. All right. So out of the things that uh, that are top secret this week. Yeah. Do you want to show the SPI friend? Do you want to show the STEM thing? Do you want to show the RP2040 stuff? Do you want to show, um, well, let, let's do this one. This is easy. Okay, Ying Tricky, you just emailed me one morning. You said, yeah. we should make it Ying Tricky. So I just, I just pulled together. Yeah. Let's show the first video, what are the SPI2040. I think okay. that, because I'm about to We also to have this, this slider snail. Wow, wow. Yeah, okay, wow. so let's do uh, the RP2040. Yeah, ones. the first video. Or you want to show all of them or just one? I'm not asking which ones are the most important for you. Just I'm show the first two. Yeah. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm working on my STEM -a friend. I've updated this board. If you remember, this was a SAMD21 with a display to like do I squared C and analog stuff helping. And um, I'm updating it to an RP2040, but you'll notice the display is a little slow. And if you look on the oscilloscope, it's only transmitting like one byte every you know couple microseconds. So what I'm doing is I'm upgrading the um, Arduino core from Phil Howard to add faster SPI to do uh, block writes instead of individual writes. So if I reset my board and then I load on, I already pre-compiled this, my fast SPI, you'll see, boom, still fast. And then on the oscilloscope, it's writing out big chunks at a time. So it's like 10 times faster, it's awesome. Faster screen updates, more data. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, for the I Square T stem a friend that I've been working on, it's got this 240 by 240 screen, and I thought maybe it could be really useful also as a serial port monitor. So I wrote a little bit of Autobot detection code. Uh, so now if I connect this up to my GPS module, you'll see it automatically detects it 9600 baud, and it actually, like, reads the data and displays it up to the buffer with this nice scrolling. Um, the scrolling is harder than it seems. I have to actually make a frame buffer for the entire display and then blit it out constantly. It's about like uh, 20 frames per second. Um, but it's quite nice. It has a nice scrolling effect and uh, it would be a great debugging tool uh, for say a GPS or you know maybe a Raspberry Pi. This works as well with auto baud detection. It's kind of cool so you don't have to enter in the baud rate. That's top secret. Okay, let's get to some questions. Back in the vault. Yeah. You secret stuff. They're very secret. Okay. I actually did a hardware revision too. <laughs>